Here's another new find. We have another type of salamander. This isn't a newt. This is a slimy salamander, it's called. See all the white spots on them? Now they get their name because as a defense mechanism, they produce a lot of slime. And they'll get your hands all slimy like as if you're holding a slug. Not that big of a salamander, but they get much bigger than this. They'll get twice the size. Kind of like the newt, related to the newts, like salamanders still. Whoop. You went in my sleeve. <laughs> a lot of times they like to live under rocks. In moist areas still, they have that permeable skin. Water can go in, water can go out. So in order to make sure they have all their body water, they stay in moist areas. This is our slimy salamander. They're found in Kentucky. They're found in Pennsylvania here. And they're found down in Delaware as well. Slimy salamanders. Found a, uh, I found another amphibian. It's so wet out that all the amphibians are out and about moving around the forest floor. You see him? This is a toad. I was climbing up this mountain here and he jumped off of the rock. Let's see if I can't catch him real quick. He's not a big guy. He's a little toad. You can see those two white bumps on his back, one on each side. Those are glands. They're poison glands. Toads are poisonous. Now, you don't have to worry. They're kind of like newts. If you're not going to eat them, he's not going to you know, you're not going to get any of that poison. You're not going to have to worry about it. You can touch it. It's fine. Don't lick your fingers. Maybe go wash your fingers when you're done. But he's poisonous, so birds and such don't eat him. If you look on his back, you see those black dots. In the black dots, there are little warts. And he's got one, maybe two warts in each of the black dots. Because he has so few of those warts in each of those black dots, it tells me that what we have here is an American toad. He might have a dirty belly. Yep, look at that. He's got some black on his belly. So this tells me we got an American toad right here. The other type of toad that we have here in Pennsylvania, down in Delaware, over in Kentucky. We also have something called the Fowler's Toad. Fowler's Toad has many warts in each of those black dots, more than two, somewhere around three, four, or five. And they typically have a all white belly, so they won't have those black dots on the belly. Go on, little guy. <laughs> kind of clumsy. We'll let him go. So we found ourselves the little garter snake. This is a baby, real small. You can see the checkers, the checkerboarding on its back. That's how you know this is a garter snake. See that little red tongue that he keeps flicking out? When they do that, 
That's how they sense everything around them. It's like you smelling the air. He can pick up on so many different scents and he knows what's all around him. He's picking up on my scent. He's picking up on the plants all around us. And he's probably out looking for a meal. These guys are one of the few animals that we have that can actually eat those newts that we were seeing earlier. The newts, remember, were poisonous. But garter snakes built up a resistance to that poison so they can eat the newts. So let's put him back down and let him go on his merry way. Watch how fast he is, though. He's gone. We have another snake here. This is another harmless snake. This is a ringneck snake. You can see it's called a ringneck. Get that fly away from there. A ringneck because it has that ring around the neck. They, they're gray. And they got this bright yellow belly. Real beautiful. In Kentucky, there's ringneck snakes, but they're gonna have a bunch of black checkered dots on their belly in addition to that yellow, but they'll look just the same as this guy. And same with in Delaware. So I found him, he was underneath a rock out in the sun here. So we're gonna put him right back where we found him, under this rock. He'll go back home. We got a much bigger ringneck snake. See, compared to the last guy, this guy's huge. Still a ringneck, but much bigger than the last guy. Let's put him over here. We found a frog, it's a green frog. See how it has the green on the front of its face there? Now bullfrogs also have green on them. So we know this is a green frog and not a bullfrog because if you look right where the eyeball is, running along its back, going right behind that eyeball, is a ridge. It looks like a fold of skin running all the way from the eye back towards those hind limbs, those hind feet. That ridge tells me that this is a green frog and not a bullfrog. Bullfrogs won't have that ridge running all down the back. You can also see that right behind the eye is a nice little circular, smooth section. That's its ear. Technically, it's its eardrum. That's what it's using to listen to me right now. If that were bigger than its eye, it would be a male. Because that's about the same size of the eye, I know that this is a female. A female green frog. Alright, I'm going to see if I can't time this right. But it's not all reptiles and amphibians that we tend to see out in the woods.
be right down there. And his little tail. Got a mouse living down here. I'm not gonna pick him up. Mammals aren't the best things to be picking up. Let's see if we can't see him a little bit better. Nah, he's happy down in there. I don't think he wants out, so we'll leave him be. But I can tell by that tail. See how it's it's fuzzy, a little scaly, white bottom to it, black top to it. The size he was. This is an American deer mouse. He was originally under this rock. We'll give him everything back just the way it was. And we'll leave him be. American deer mouse. We found another little salamander. See that white stripe that's coming down behind its eye? That tells me that this is a dusky salamander. Let's get him a little wet here. My hands are a little dry. Whoop. See his back, how it has that stripe going down the back? The little black dots down the middle? That tells me that this is an Allegheny Mountain Dusky Salamander. They love streams like this one. And they actually, they're a good telltale that this stream has good health. See that white stripe behind its eye again? It tells me it's a dusky. Back in Delaware and in Kentucky, we don't have Allegheny Mountain Dusky Salamanders. But if you see a salamander in a stream that has that white stripe, then what you're looking at is a northern Dusky Salamander. And we'll leave him right here in his home.